Hi, my name is Jeff Solheim, president of Solheim Enterprises, and welcome to our series on preparing for a certification exam. The module you're watching right now is a module about how to read questions, specifically what I'm gonna call highest priority questions. They're the questions that ask you, you know, which of the following interventions would be the highest priority for this patient? And these can be tricky questions in that sometimes the way we truly practice nursing is a team approach where you have multiple people in the room all doing things simultaneously, especially in a trauma or a cardiac arrest or a stroke or something like that. And so highest priority may sometimes get lost in the fact that several people are doing things at the same time and it's hard to keep track of what the highest priority is. And sometimes things in your mind that might be a higher priority than others are not always the correct answer on the exam. So let's look at a sample question for a moment. The question on your screen, what is the priority intervention for a patient who is 32 weeks pregnant and sustains a fractured pelvis and bladder trauma in a motor vehicle collision? Now the four choices you have are measurement of fetal heart tones, tipping the backboard 15 degrees, assessment for uterine contractions, and initiation of cervical spinal precautions. Now, when it comes to answering these highest priority or priority intervention question, the first thing you should do is go through the four choices you've been given and make sure they're appropriate. Sometimes one or two of them may not even be appropriate for the patient. And you can just say not appropriate and not even consider it. Is it appropriate to measure fetal heart tones on this patient? Of course, yes. Is it appropriate to tip the backboard 15 degrees? Of course. Is it appropriate to assess for uterine contractions? Actually, it would be. And is it appropriate to initiate cervical spinal precautions? Absolutely it is. So in this case, all four choices are correct. So we have to now consider of the four choices, which one would be the highest priority? Now, the way I recommend that you do that is you apply the mnemonic that you probably learned in the core courses you've taken in the past. Airway, breathing, circulation, disability, exposure and environmental control, full set of vital signs and family presence, get resuscitation, history and head to toe exam, and inspect the posterior surfaces. So that's your mnemonic alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. After you've assigned all of the choices a letter, pick the highest letter on the alphabet. So let's go back to my example. What is the priority intervention for a patient who is 32 weeks pregnant and sustains a fractured pelvis and bladder trauma in a motor vehicle collision? What would measurement of fetal heart tones be on that A through I mnemonic? Did you pick C for circulation? That's probably the most appropriate. Uh, it certainly assesses the fetal circulation and we also know if the mama's not doing well, it can affect fetal circulation. So I would give it a C. Some of you may have reason to question me on that and that's okay, we could question each other, but we're gonna use a C for this one. Now, the second choice is tipping the backboard 15 degrees. What does that come under on the mnemonic? Did you pick C? If you did, you got it right again. Because remember, tipping the backboard reduces vena cava compression syndrome, and it increases blood return to the central circulation so the mother has a better blood pressure. So that would directly impact C. Now, what about answer C? What letter are you gonna give that one? Assessment for uterine contractions. This one's probably going to come under the head to toe assessment. Certainly with a pregnant patient, part of your assessment is to assess for contractions to make sure that the mama is not prepared to deliver. And so we would do that as part of the head to toe. So we would assign the third answer or C answer as the letter H for head to toe. Now what, uh, what uh, letter are you going to assign to answer D? Initiation of cervical spinal precautions. Did you remember that cervical spinal precautions are part of A for airway? Airway and cervical spinal go together as A. So we're gonna assign the D answer, the letter A. So A answer was assigned C, B answer was assigned C, C answer was assigned H, and D answer was assigned A. Obviously, what's the highest letter on the alphabet? It's letter A. So therefore, the correct answer for this question will be D because it was assigned the letter A. 
I hope that makes sense how I got there. If you apply this over and over again on highest priority questions, I bet you're gonna find you're gonna get them right. I hope this tip was helpful to you. Make sure you watch all the other videos in this series for other similar tips, and good luck on your studies.